Hi, welcome to Unwrapped. My name is Randy Miller, and what you're seeing right here is a icebox side-by-side refrigerator wrap. So if you want to change the look of your side-by-side -side, instead of having a black or white or silver side-by-side, uh, -side, if you want to make it look like an old vintage icebox, uh, you can. If you'll go on the armwraps.com website, go to refrigerator wraps, and then you can find it right there. So every order is custom sized to make you fit. So basically when you're ordering um, this icebox refrigerator wrap, uh, we need the measurements. And so you can actually uh, go to the page and it'll tell you what to do for the measurements. Um, so basically we need the height and width of, the, of each door and how thick the door is. And second of all, if there's an ice maker in there, uh, I recommend doing the top of the door to the top of the ice maker, bottom of the door to the bottom of the ice maker. And so we know exactly where it is at. Um, also, if there's any uh, handles on there, we actually move things to the, move this to the side. So the handles on this one right here goes right about right here. It's an inch and a quarter inch uh, thick. So it doesn't, uh, block anything, but anything thicker than that, uh, or if you don't have handles, you should have handles. Um, you can kind of go from there. But I just want to show you the quality of this print. We print out on a 3M air release vinyl matte sheen, and we try to make it as realistic as possible. We're trying our best to make it illusion of it's being a real ice box. This is the printer right here we're working on. It's the HP. Um, latex 700W series uh, printer. So you can tell it's a very good high quality uh, print that we're using it on. Uh, we also, we put markers right here. That indicates the corners of the doors. These are just tabs that you pull off, but we're just telling the customers that we have markers. The second thing we do for customer service, we give a knife and a squeegee. These squeegees, are, um, I, we design these in house and we put arrows on there. So um, if, the, if we're installing it, we usually cut the backing right here and um, it's a called tacking on strip. So you remove the tacking on strip, move it around, and then when you're happy with that, where it's at, you tack it on and then you put the, uh, you do the second stage of tacking on, you take the top off and you use the squeegee and you follow these arrows all the way up to the squeegees. So it's designed that way. Then when you do the top part, you make sure it's looped around, make sure everything is all nice and nice and tight. And then you use the paper or the backing, curl it. And um, so once you it's curled, it's lift up a little bit. And then you, you do is you squeegee it on, going all the way down and then call, call it good. Okay. If you got any comments or questions, comment down below. We'll put the in the description box down below. We'll put the link of this guy right here in the description box. Also on how to install uh, videos. Uh, we don't have really don't have a uh, side by side um, installing videos. We don't do too much of this right here, but um, we will we'll put videos on certain uh, how to videos on there. But we're trying our best to do our, uh, uh, how to install videos and other things right there. All right, my name is Randy Miller. If you ever want to get a hold of me, 208-696-1180. Email me at rmraps at uh, gmail.com, and we can go from there. All right, I hope you like these videos, and um, stay tuned. We've got more videos to show you of products, services, and other things. All right, thanks for watching, guys.